<laughs> Mister, I have not dropped a tournament since I came and started wrecking Vegas. But you know, that's fine. I'm sure Splash Daddy will be just fine. Okay, and Splash Daddy gonna have the wolf. Interesting. Yeah. This, uh... So we got two characters that are very good at just controlling the pace of the match. And the difference is one's really fast and the other one has a really good projectile. Yeah, and <clears throat> so I think the thing here is, is that what's gonna be the deciding factor is Sonic's gonna play both sides of the Sonic coin, right? Yeah. He knows how to he knows how to run up and be in your face and do a lot of damage, and then he knows exactly like, hey, when I'm winning, I don't have to play the game anymore. Yes. So uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, or interesting to see what Splash Daddy has planned for that type of gameplay when it comes to the Sonics. Yeah. Uh, but Especially also, because Wolf is not really a character that can catch up to Sonic very easily. Uh, on the ground, I would have to agree, but you know, we all know Wolf's aerial drift and oh, acceleration yeah, is insane, right? So I think, I think the key to this matchup here is the utilization of Splash Daddy's blaster Ooh. presence and how uh, quickly he can react to the air to air when it comes to Sonic's going for those spin dashes in the air, or when he double jumps, just like these operations right here. I was going to say, on the subject of which, he's actually got a really healthy amount of percent on Sonics right now. Yeah, on Sonic. And I mean, that's all it takes is just being able to know and call out your opponent's uh, habits. Mm -hmm. uh, especially with a character like Wolf. Wolf can take that and take a mile. It's the same idea as Roy, where uh, they both have just such volatile combo games that can just end in death so easily. Yeah. I also think that Wolf also has the benefit of like being able to play that kind of slow play style and control the neutral, again, because of that blaster, right? Yeah. At, a, at a certain point, Sonic's just going to have to realize, i got to have to make something happen if I want to go back to playing the game line that I want to do. But Wolf has that same aspect in, all right, man, I got this whole gun, I'll just wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that oh. is going to be a stock hitting edge guard with that spring. That is, I don't want to say that's really a Sonic's classic, but I mean, we've seen him do that so many times. Yeah, really good at utilizing that spring to get those, uh, what will be weaker character recoveries, especially on the ledge. Okay, tries to get him with that down, or F smash, excuse me. But Splash started being aware and going to go ahead and Wolf flash to the platform. Looks like Splash Daddy's having a little bit of issues trying to close out this stock, which I mean, that's just kind of the wolf problem. It's like you have all this kill power, but how are you going to set up into it? Yeah, I mean, he's just wanting a good raw hit. The problem is, like you said, it's just getting there. But I mean, you know, I like it. He knows that he has uh, four and a half minutes, man. Yeah. There's a lot of Smash that we still be played in this game number one, so. Oh my goodness. Almost half the match is already over. Like, I didn't realize uh, so much time had already passed. <laughs> Okay, Ooh. yeah, good F's up there. I've seen a lot of Wolf players catch people out doing that, like, uh, that, like, boosted forward tilt. Mm -hmm. um, it just has so much, like, surprising burst range. Especially oh, yeah. with Wolf having, like, a pretty decent initial dash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is what I'm talking about, man. This is Sonic's game plan. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, took the stock, it's just a natural percent on the wolf here and then all he has to do is just wait for splash i did to make it an oh, yeah. unsafe option like that and he gets clipped by his f smash and this is where it gets really hard now for wolf you know like he's gonna definitely have to uh hit him with something pretty meaty here if he wants to get himself back in this game number one the nice thing is at this percent i believe back is gonna start killing like regardless of where he is on the stage so he'll at least have that option okay to but this if combo he strength from sonics here yeah what the heck Okay, yeah, I like the drift bag. Wow. And that's so... What? Oh, oh yeah, he just... Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, let's go game two, man. That makes sense. I mean, sometimes you just you need to reset that game. You got to, all right, I'll take a break. I'm done. Yeah. Let's go ahead and just move on to the next one. <laughs> Cannot say I blame him. I mean, we've even seen uh, players like Foe have to just, like, end the game, reset that mentality, be like, all right, you know what? This game's not going well for me. I'm not in the right headspace. Let me take a second to breathe, and then let's go back. Yeah, but I feel like at, a, at this, I feel like this level in the game, you gotta have like a, a little better mental fortitude, right? If you're already letting your opponent get in your head that badly, even sure. if, even if it's looking pretty grim, you know, I feel like one of the biggest things is like even getting that initial like, okay, I took that one stock. I seen my. It's kind of like in basketball, right? Yeah. If you're in a cold streak and you see that first basket go in, that boosts your confidence level to be like, all right, you know, what, I got this. But Absolutely. maybe it is just a character switch because right now we're seeing this Bowser pick. And he's <laughs> doing pretty decent amount of damage on him right now. Not just a heavy with insane kill power equivalent to Wolf, but on the smallest stage of the game where people are known to die crazy early. And he said, I like triplots, man. He said, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna come and grab you once, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Okay, forward just him off. Oh, it tries to get the flame breath, but not gonna work. Interesting uh, option. Bear in mind, uh, Bowser also has uh, armor on his tilts, 
on his smash attacks. He's just, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. This character is just ridiculous in terms of what he can tank through. And Sonic is not a character that's known for having any like particularly hard hitting like single hit options. So definitely an interesting counter pick in terms of characters. Ooh. Okay. Oh wow, the downer not actually connecting. But yeah, I feel like the only problem with this is is that I feel like Sonic is gonna always be in a constant state of motion where Bowser's gonna either have to really oh wow that as I said that back here taking the first stop. <laughs> he's gonna have to either hard read this command grab or like go for these aerials, right? He's not gonna he's not gonna get the I don't think the initial like Bowser cheese that he thought he was gonna be looking for right. uh, in a player like Sonic, so he's not really gonna fall for that. What but that? does get down aired, okay, yeah, hey man. Go ahead and show me up real quick. Come back. <laughs> I was say, Splash really said, okay, you were saying, keep yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't the command grab, you know what I'm saying? But he yeah, said, that's oh, true. We'll, we'll catch this down here. <laughs> Ooh, managed to land that tech, but he's still going to get juggled yeah, for his troubles. That might be a stock. All right, he's been down there on his way back to safety. But Sonic's already putting on a pretty uh, sizable lead, I would say. Yeah, now it just gets to this point now where he's just, what does it do? Yeah. I mean, it, so if I'm splashed in this situation, I'm just wanting to try to slow things down. Because at this point, Sonics can absolutely run away if he wants to, but Sonics is also like, he only does that if it's absolutely necessary. And I feel like he doesn't feel like it's necessary yet. So I feel like that gives Splash that many more opportunities to possibly take advantage of over aggression, touching his shield, eating it up, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's just getting juggled here. It's gonna get really hard, man. Bowser, it, his only options are really landing is an aggressive option. And Sonic's gonna read that out. He's gonna take massive damage. He just <laughs> up bees, man. Doesn't care. Ooh, oh, catches him with that down tilt. Okay. Okay, it's gonna, yeah. <laughs> it just ran into it. That back throw is back gonna throw. kill. There's no way. <laughs> But still, he's even at the percents relatively well. Much better than that first stock was looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the Bowser pick seems to be working, you know, a little better than the Wolf one. Maybe this actually is his I'm actually not sure uh, what Splash that his main was. I mean, either way, he's shown himself to be very competent with both characters. Okay, yeah, the forward air, run off forward air into the Ooh. spring. Really good high recovery there from uh, mm -hmm. Splash. Yeah, but still not the realm's a possibility yet. Yeah, he's just looking at the fair command grab or one strong hit. It's the only way he's going to get himself back in this game. Because uh, once Sonic puts on this percent, yeah. And that's what I'm saying, right? He has an aggressive option to get back to stage. Sonic is fast enough to punish that. It's just not as uh, free as he thinks it's going to be. It's just, that, that's just the way the matchups go. I mean, when you're fighting against Sonic, this character will be able to whiff punish you. It does not matter where you are, but Landing on a platform like that, that big old forward air, that ridiculous forward air, I might add. That thing is huge, disjointed, it kills. Catches jump with the back air. Neutral air. Oh, oh and clipped him. I think Splash that he pressed the button. I wouldn't believe that that just didn't naturally connect. I, yeah, honestly. Because it looked like if it connected, that was like super, super fringe hitbox. Like, that yeah. was so close. Um, but yeah, props to Sonics, uh, taking it 2-0 over Splash. 